the cell wall. It can be found in fungi, algae, bacteria, and plants. But we'll focus on the plants. The plant cell wall is a tough, flexible, and sometimes rigid layer that surrounds the cell membrane and its cell parts. It will be represented by the green line here. One of the key attributes that helps the cell wall perform its major functions is its permeability, in which it allows key nutrients and some other molecules and proteins to pass through. The plant cells will also form what is called plasma desmata during cell replication, which performs the action of transporting nutrients, proteins, mRNA, RNAi, and viral genomes from cell to cell. The two pathways of the plasma desmata are the apoplastic pathway that travels through the cell wall and the symplastic pathway that travels through the cytoplasm. The plasma desma is located here. This is an example of two cells transporting through the plasma desmata located here, 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 and here. Moving on, the plant cell wall is composed of a primary wall and a secondary wall. The primary wall surrounds growing cells, or cells capable of growth, and the secondary wall is a thickened structure containing lignin and surrounds specialized cells such as vessel elements or fiber cells. The arrow in this picture is pointing to the middle lamella. It is a pectin layer which cements the cell walls of two adjoining cells together. Plants need this to give them stability and so that they can form the plasma desmata between the cells. It is the first formed layer which is deposited at the time of cytokinesis. So all in all, what we have learned is that the cell wall provides support and stability for the plant. It is permeable allowing it to receive vital nutrients and proteins. The cell wall is composed of a primary wall, a secondary wall, and the middle lamella. Plasma desmata help transport nutrients to or from a cell to the next, and about the apoplastic and symplastic pathways.